So whinging about youngsters is nothing new. Historically, each generation has thought its shoes were too big to be filled by the next one. So I'm here in Australia today at beautiful Faulkner Park in South Yarra for the annual cricket match between the Mercantile Association under 21s versus over 40s. It's a battle between arthritis and acne. These people who were once 21 but now watch better homes and gardens and worry about superannuation. These are my peeps. It took good bowling to restrict the under 21s to less than 200 when they batted. And now they test our geriatric batting skills. The under-21s were keen, talented, graceful, and a third of our age. I asked my teammates, how could they be beaten? Uh, bluff. <laughs> Skill. Overconfidence. Play, Nick, go! Young, wild bowlers with no control. Well, I'm not sure. Um, Clarky, it's going to take a little bit of, uh, a bit of evaluation, I think, and some deep soul-searching. Particularly though, there's a few blokes who are going to have to have a good hard look at themselves, clearly. Um, there is no I in team, but there is a U in the word C, in the C word, of course. Well, that's something that was told to me years ago by my old grandfather, and that is that old age and treachery will always build, beat, beat youth and skills. <laughs> uh, they did arrive one year, I remember distinctly, all late. They'd all been to a party together, so they forfeited the toss. But it's always been a bit of a breeding ground for uh, cricketers for the future of the And it's a good bonding between the umpires and the players and obviously with the vets over the years we've a lot of us have played against each other. Was Ross Attrell's grandfather right? Could youth and skill be beaten by old age and treachery? And what did Tim Cherry mean by saying there was no I in team, but a U in the C word? This then is what old people have done to young people for generations. Confused them. And steadily, the game went our way. Everyone contributed, and I was lucky enough to be at the other end. Steve Snooks led us old bastards to a win with a couple of overs to spare, getting himself a century before the end of play. Yeah, get it! Yes! The under 21s had set up a good target, bold with spirit, and were all good sports coached by a remarkable young gentleman, James Rigetti. I'd say the future is in good hands. And we've become probably friends more than opponents, and that's the vibe of the MCA, which we strongly encourage.